scientists in training. Welcome to the Smithsonian Marine Ecosystems Exhibit's Summer Camp at Home Experience. Go ahead and put your imaginary snorkel and goggles on. Ready? Let's dive into today's topic. What's a fish? Let's test your knowledge before introducing you to the watery world of fish. Can you tell which of these aquatic animals are considered fish? Ready? The yellowtail snapper, seahorse, and stingray are all fish. How many did you get correctly? Have you ever wondered if jellyfish, starfish, and cuttlefish were indeed fish? Scientists that lived hundreds of years ago thought so. Many present-day humans mistakenly believe that all animals living in aquatic or water-based environments are fish too. In reality, there are many groups of animals that live in water but are not fish. The science known as taxonomy is used as a tool for finding common characteristics between living organisms like animals and grouping them. This makes it easier for humans to study and understand living organisms. For example, the sea hare belongs to a group of soft-bodied animals known as mollusks. The sea turtle is a marine reptile. The manatee belongs to a group of animals called mammals. Just like you and me, Manatees and other marine mammals breathe air instead of water. Now, what do you notice about these fish? They don't look exactly the same, right? That's because there's diversity within the group. There's about 32,000 species or kinds of fish, and there are a lot more that are still being discovered and explored every single day. Most of these species of fish share a series of six characteristics that will help you tell them apart from other types of aquatic animals. Okay, get ready to never confuse a fish as another animal ever again. Number one, all fish live in aquatic environments such as rivers, streams, lakes, ponds, estuaries, and oceans. Marine fish can be found all over the world, from the shallowest parts of the sea to the deepest, darkest, and coldest corners of the ocean. Number two, all fish are vertebrates, animals with backbones providing the basic structure for swimming. Go ahead and touch the center of your back. It feels really hard. That's because you too have a vertebral column. That's what you're feeling right now. Remember the sea turtle and the manatee from before? They're also vertebrates but belong in other groupings, reptiles and mammals. Number three, most fish are cold-blooded. Contrary to us humans, their body temperature is affected by the temperature of their environment. The scientific word for cold-blooded is ectotherm. Exceptions to this rule include big fish such as tuna, which are warm-blooded. Because tuna swim constantly, they produce a lot of body heat. They're able to control the release of that heat, so certain parts of their body can stay slightly warmer than the surrounding water. Number four, fish have gills which are structures used for breathing. Just as you breathe oxygen from air using your nose, the majority of fish breathe using their gills. Water enters the mouth and passes through the gills which are right behind it. Oxygen is then extracted from the water by the gills and water exits through the gill opening. The only exception to this rule is a group of fish known as lungfishes, which can actually breathe air. Check out the links in the description to see an example of the lungfishes. Number five, all fish have appendages known as fins. 
fins help fish remain stable in the water and gain propulsion or maneuverability. I like to think of fins as the fishy versions of arms and legs. Watch our video on fish anatomy to learn more about how fins are used in the water. Number 6. The skin of many species of fish is covered in protective scales, which can vary in shapes and sizes. Although they can be different, all scales ultimately protect the skin of fish, making it harder for them to be injured by predators or parasites. Now that you know how to identify a fish, let's do another challenge. Ready? Go ahead and identify the fish in this aquatic scene. Pause the video until you're ready to see the answer. Great job! Thanks for watching this video. Keep learning with us at the Smithsonian Marine Station and Ecosystems Exhibits at Home Camp. Share pictures of your experience on social media by tagging us on Facebook at Smithsonian Marine Station and Ecosystems Exhibit or Twitter and Instagram at at Smithsonian SMS. Catch you next time!